Elon Musk's SpaceX has astounded the world with its ability to produce a rocket engine within 24 hours, unmatched by anyone else for a long time. However, things are about to get even crazier with SpaceX's new giant factory. Let's find out more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. What exactly has SpaceX just revealed inside the new Starship Gigafactory? And what's the real reason SpaceX built the Gigafactory that Elon Musk has just revealed? In recent times, we've heard a lot about the plans for Starship that Elon revealed in his presentation to all SpaceX employees. But has anyone noticed that to achieve all these goals, SpaceX needs a crucial element first? Yes, that's the construction of the Star Factory plant to mass-produce Starships. Although at this point the factory may not yet be ready to meet the ambitious production goals, it's laying the groundwork for a major revolution in Starship production speed in the near future, as Elon recently stated in his latest speech. So this year we're planning to build another roughly six uh, boosters and ships. And, um, and that production rate will increase a lot uh, next year. That's why we're building the, the giant factory. Indeed, this year will be a busy one for SpaceX. According to the news we previously updated, Elon and SpaceX have aimed for six to nine Starship launches this year which inevitably may require increasing rocket hardware production not only to prepare for launches this year, but also for next year's launches. Six pairs of Starship mentioned by Elon Musk are quite a standard quantity considering that Star Factory is not yet operational, but once complete, it'll undoubtedly be a time of explosive production. Adjacent to the Starship production site, Star Factory is SpaceX's largest ongoing construction project, spanning millions of square meters, a giant structure for production that'll include five floors with 329,500 square feet of office space. If nothing changes, according to Elon's words, the factory will officially operate at full capacity by 2025. However, the special thing about the factory lies not only in its scale, but also in its groundbreaking ideal to achieve what can be said as the foremost unique compared to other aerospace companies in the world. This initiative can be traced back to Tesla's revolutionary gigafactories, symbolizing a shift in the automotive industry model of electric vehicles. As of now, Tesla's gigafactories are among the largest buildings in the world. This absolute size enables Tesla to leverage advanced technologies with efficient automated assembly lines while saving production costs. Each Tesla Gigafactory typically achieves an annual output of hundreds of thousands of vehicles, with Tesla Giga Shanghai capable of reaching a production output of over 950,000 vehicles. Truly, a figure that many other factories admire, and SpaceX is also following suit with that approach. Once the Star Factory plant's complete, the company will embark on mass production of Starships on an unprecedented scale, potentially transforming traditional manufacturing practices in the industry. The closest rocket system to compare with Starship is NASA's Space Launch System, SLS. The SLS design requires components from Boeing, Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, and Aerojet Rocketdyne, all manufactured at various locations across the U.S., then transported nationally to be assembled in Florida in the best way they can manage. However, the SLS is only planned to launch once a year, with a cost of around $4 billion a launch. In reality, it hasn't launched since its first time in 2022, delayed due to the Artemis mission schedule. But it seems there are more technical issues than we thought. Clearly, not an easy ask. Meanwhile, SpaceX is flexible enough to claim that they could build a larger, better rocket every day of the week. Above all, SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell also claims to produce one Starship rocket every day. Well, this is extremely ambitious and seemingly impossible, but not too difficult for SpaceX. Because similar determination was demonstrated a decade ago with Elon's declaration that Tesla would produce one million electric cars in a year. Now the company's not only achieved that goal, but surpassed it. While Elon Musk tends to make insane statements, when it comes to Gwen Shotwell, she's known for her capability and pragmatic approach. Therefore, the set goal is not at all far-fetched. Why can't we build a rocket every day? That's what we're focusing on with Starship, is attacking every part of the production process to be able to build lots of these machines, Shotwell said. To know what will happen inside the Starship factory, we can look at the Starship construction process that SpaceX has been using so far. This process, meticulously refined over years of trial and error, encompasses three fundamental stages. The acquisition of raw materials, the forming and welding of components, and the final assembly and dedicated production base. The journey begins with the acquisition of raw materials, where SpaceX procures giant rolls of 304A1 stainless steel, the building blocks of its iconic Starship vehicles. 
Afterward, it's cut lengthwise to form rings and welded to become the straight sides of the ship and reinforcements for curved parts like the nose cone and interior domes forming the tops and bottoms of fuel tanks. SpaceX receives panels of stamped and stretched stainless steel, which they could weld together. The three original tents represent three strings of Starship components being manufactured in parallel, divided between producing the upper and lower sections of the Starship at the same time. A tent houses the engine section and is dedicated to the lower thrust section of the ship and the reinforcing part, while the central tent accommodates the rings and arches, forming the body and fuel tank of the Starship. Each section comprises three to five welded steel rings. The smaller tent, to the extent that the process allows, cages the uppermost V-ring sections. Subsequently, each outdoor section is prepared according to its specific requirements, with a series of cuts, piping systems, and completed reinforcement for the ship at the upper stage. Insulation panels and heat shields are also fitted here within the tent. Following this, the third tent specializes in producing the nose cone, constructed from long, shaped, and stretched pieces of stainless steel welded together vertically. The nose cone parts are equipped with a heat shield before being rolled out, allowing SpaceX to produce the primary components in booster simultaneously on the ground. However, up to the present moment, the tents have gradually been dismantled by SpaceX, and it's finally time to don a new outfit for Starbase. By now, the completed parts of the Star Factory building have taken on a U-shaped form and are swiftly progressing towards a square layout, ultimately providing a total production space five times larger than what the company had available when they first started building Starships with the three primary tents cleared out. The varying height of the factory between segments makes the production process much smoother by having a continuous production floor instead of three separate tents, giving SpaceX about two to three times more covered floor space. Star Factory also offers significantly more vertical space for Starship as the tents are pyramid-shaped, reaching their maximum height only at the middle section and theoretically being quite low towards the edges. Hence, SpaceX can make each segment a bit taller, ultimately requiring fewer stack sections in the assembly bay. The foundation is progressing rapidly, so this is how SpaceX eventually achieves the point where they produce one Starship every day by having such a massive production space that they can work on several new rockets at the same time, fabricating rocket segments thereafter. The final assembly process is as easy as stacking them up and installing some finishing touches before shipping to the launch site. This will generate a massive production volume for the company to an extent that we never could have imagined. The number of starships produced will undoubtedly need to meet Elon's grand future ambitions. Upon achieving this, Starship will replace the entire fleet of SpaceX rockets and become a central figure in space exploration, especially in missions to Mars. As Elon stated in his presentation, we'll need to build a lot more ships than boosters, especially for Mars. Exactly. With Musk's mindset, Starship flights to the Red Planet might not return because the materials from these ships will be very useful for a base there. And to have a city on Mars to sustain life there, SpaceX will undoubtedly have to produce tens of thousands of ships. I dare say that the current Star Factory will not be the only factory producing Starship. The company will further develop, similar to Gigafactory 1, 2, and 3, will also have Star Factory 1, Star Factory 2, and Star Factory 3. SpaceX and Elon Musk have envisioned a future for Starship where having a thousand spacecraft along with hundreds of launch pads and conducting dozens of launches per day is entirely commonplace. However, they undoubtedly cannot do without massive factory complexes encompassing all rocket production processes. To be honest, even the construction of the Star Factory alone, spanning hundreds of square meters, is not sufficient for the scale that SpaceX is aiming for. Therefore, the gateway to Mars continues to leave its mark in South Texas with numerous multi-million dollar projects. Among these, the standout project confirmed by Elon Musk is the construction of a large-scale, five-story complex in South Texas valued at $100 million at the Starbase Complex in Brownsville. So, what does the project mean for the future of SpaceX? It truly goes beyond just the $100 million limit and exceeds what even we think. The latest project, simply called SpaceX Starbase Office, will see the construction of an industrial complex that would be large enough to fit 15 football fields. To compare, this will be a fourth of the size of Boeing's largest structure, where they built massive 777s at over 4 million square feet. Details filed with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation shed light on the project's scope. According to SpaceX's filings, the project will be located at 52190 San Martin Boulevard in Brownsville, a few miles from the launch site, as noted in a report from Valley Central. 
The proposed development will include the addition of an expanded office mezzanine spanning over 329,000 square feet, strategically integrated with a dedicated industrial factory for the production, development, and launch of Starship rockets, covering approximately 1 million square feet of existing space. Scheduled to kick off this month, the construction will take place near Boca Chica Beach along the Gulf of Mexico's South Bay, which is an ambitious one-year turnaround. The project is anticipated to commence on February 23rd with a targeted completion date of January 1st, 2025. Though it's important to note that all the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations filings are subject to change. Elon Musk has confirmed the project on X. According to the CEO of SpaceX, the construction of the SpaceX Starbase office valued at $100 million is already well underway. The $100 million allocated for this project marks the most significant building block undertaken in the name of space exploration technologies in Cameron County. However, their ambitions are certainly not limited to this. Elon Musk envisions even greater things, as he has previously declared to the public. In March 2021, Musk proclaimed on social media that he'd rename the area near Boca Chica Beach, creating the city of Starbase, Texas, he said. From thence to Mars and hence the stars, he added that the city will encompass an area much larger than Boca Chica. That's why constructing a $100 million office is a step for SpaceX to gradually strengthen its presence in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. The company is actively working to officially rename the Brownsville and Boca Chica areas to Starbase, utilizing this area for rocket testing, satellite launches into orbit, and ambitious missions to Mars. SpaceX previously pitched a potential land swap deal to acquire 43 acres of adjacent state park land and plans to construct a $15 million retail center nearby. With these initiatives, the creation of Starbase Texas may be on the horizon. The outcome of this land transaction is still under discussion, with a public announcement scheduled for March. However, if SpaceX succeeds, it'll be a lucrative deal, providing them with a tremendous advantage. Upon examination of the map, it becomes evident that the expanded land in the production site, although somewhat scattered, is substantial, nearly half the size of the existing production site. This expansion extends northeast from the former Boca Chica village, presenting SpaceX with numerous possibilities. The increased space offers SpaceX the opportunity to explore options such as expanding production systems, incorporating areas for rings, or completing prototypes similar to the Sanchez site. They could also develop new production and assembly systems such as bays or star factories. Furthermore, the new land area could be utilized for housing systems for employees given its proximity to the Boca Chica village. Regarding the launch site, the extended land will enable a significant expansion to the west, connecting with the suborbital tank farm and suborbital launch pads. This expansion effectively doubles the size of the current launch site, providing ample room for growth. This expansion opens up significant opportunities for enhancing testing and launching systems, with launch towers being a primary focus. While there is speculation about the construction of a second launch tower in the Pad A, Pad B areas, the expanded space allows for the possibility of multiple launch towers and additional structures. Additionally, the new land may support the development of a new tank farm system to meet the fuel demands associated with testing and launch activities. Beyond these key structures, there's anticipation for other innovative plans from SpaceX. Specific details will likely emerge from updates provided by Elon Musk and the SpaceX team in the future. Alongside SpaceX's initiatives, officials from Cameron County and the nearby city of Brownsville have voiced official support for recognizing Starbase as an official location. The Development Corporation's resolution notes that SpaceX's growth in South Texas has a tremendous positive impact on job creation and economic growth in the region to the direct benefit of the residents of Cameron County. Beyond the numbers, it said that the company's operations there have captured the attention of the nation and the world in connection with space exploration. The resolution also points out that there is no other starbase in the state, nor is the name associated with another zip code. We're with you guys. Nick Serafi, chairman of the Spaceport Development Corporation, said the resolution echoed a similar resolution passed last year by the Cameron County Commissioner's Court. It pretty much just says, we're with you guys. Whatever you need to do, we're happy to support it, he said. Serafi has been involved in the county's spaceport development since before SpaceX landed at Boca Chica Beach. The rise of Starship and Starbase has been phenomenal, way beyond expectations, he said. Brownsville Mayor John Cohen also voiced the city's support in a letter to the U.S. Board on Geographic Names, a part of the U.S. Geological Survey. Locals use the name Starbase as it reflects the enthusiasm for this area as the frontier of space exploration, where rockets will be launched to the moon and Mars, he wrote. 
That's why expanding Starbase is incredibly important. It's an indispensable part of the development process for the Starship project. The launch site, production site, and Massey test site are integral components driving the advancement of Starship. As the project enters a new phase marked by increased production, testing, and launch activities, the ongoing expansion of the production site is paramount. Demolition of old structures has made way for the larger bays and the completion of the highly anticipated Star Factory, set to revolutionize rocket production and automation. Elon Musk's ambitious goals of producing 100 to 300 starships annually by the end of 2023 necessitates a significant overhaul of the production system. The expansion of facilities, particularly in this newly acquired area, is the initial step in meeting these ambitious targets. As SpaceX sets its sights on Mars colonization, a robust housing system becomes essential to accommodate the influx of employees and engineers. Constructing new houses ensures that the workforce can support the project's growth. Looking toward the launch site, the expansion promises to impact future launch plans significantly. With plans to launch thousands of Starships annually and achieve a Starship launch every day, SpaceX acknowledges the need for additional launch towers. A second tower is already in progress, but the scale of their ambitions hints at the potential need for even more towers in the future to meet demand. As launch frequency increases, so does the demand for fuel, necessitating the establishment of new tank farm systems. The existing system may face challenges with the construction of additional launch towers, indicating a need for larger tank farms in strategic locations. In summary, SpaceX's expansion of Starbase is not just a choice but a necessity to accommodate these ambitious goals. By enhancing production, testing, and launch capabilities, SpaceX aims to propel the Starship project to new heights. With significant milestones on the horizon, this strategic advancement prepares SpaceX for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead in the pursuit of space exploration and colonization. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.